Hello everyone, it's Six. So far this week I've covered all my initial impressions for the Warrior Talent Trees. If you missed those videos, I highly recommend checking those out. That being said, I haven't covered alternative builds in those trees, as there are a few gameplay options that you can choose from. I hope in the perfect world we have a variety of options that we can choose from that will be competitive, but most likely these build choices will come down to tuning in most cases. For this video I decided to cover the Titan's Grip build with thanks to Railhaz in the comments for making me take a second look at the Fury Tree. As I previously stated, I was not really a fan of the right side of the Fury Tree. I don't like Onslaught, but there are powerful cooldowns at the bottom of the right side. I've decided to just give Titan's Grip a shot and see what happens. Here's the tree I ended up going with. I want to specifically say that some points can float. As always, things will come down to tuning. But my goal with this build is a lot of powerful cooldowns to have solid burst damage whenever it's needed. Let's take a look at some synergies. We have Thunderous Roar and Thunderous Aftershocks in the class tree. We then have Odin's Fury with the added addition of Bloodborne that further synergizes with Thunderous Roar and Aftershocks. We have Anger Management to lower our Recklessness CD to have more uptime. Hack and Slash to give us more Raging Blow charges as we went heavily into Raging Blow damage upgrades. And then we have Siege Breaker and Ravager, two big cooldowns. One that will boost our DPS and DPS cooldown windows, and another that just tears enemies apart while giving us rage. It is important to mention I also have Avatar and Signet of Tormented Kings of the class tree for another DPS cooldown. DPS windows will look something like this. After mobs are grouped up, Whirlwind for me, Cleaver, Siegebreaker, Avatar, and Recklessness. Wait for Bladestorm if that happens. Toss down Ravager. Rampage, since we already Whirlwinded. Odin's Fury and Roar for the rage generation and damage. Then spam Rampage until we exit out of Recklessness. As fighting continues, your goal is to align Siegebreaker and your DPS cooldowns coming up so that we put out as much burst as possible in those windows. I'll be honest, these are a lot of cooldowns to manage. I really wish I had my normal UI playing this, but the damage itself is actually pretty high in the current iteration of Alpha. The gameplay is also extremely fast as I had upwards to 66 casts per minute in my combat logs. Now the question is, did I enjoy this more than Single Minded Fury? I'm not really sure. The amount of cooldowns I have is quite a lot to manage with the base UI even with the improvements, so that does cause some strain. It's nothing too crazy, but it is noticeable. Single-minded, we had upkeep, but it did feel a little bit smoother, not having to weave Ravager in when it comes up and things like that. From a feel standpoint, when it came to seeing numbers fly, this build definitely delivers. Definitely felt like a Fury Warrior while playing this. Also, while managing cooldowns may be a bit overwhelming, it felt like I always had a tool for pools. That was amazing and it felt good in dungeons. I would also be remiss not to mention the damage. Overall, the damage was a little higher than single-minded, especially in burst scenarios. I don't think this dismisses Single Minded Fury at all, but this build does have more tools for different situations in combat. It really just comes down to tuning. I'm hoping there's a world where we do have viability in going Single Minded Fury or Titan's Grip based off preference. That may be a lot of copium on my part, but I think there's a way to get this done. So far I've enjoyed both play styles, but I'm personally rooting for Single Minded to have the spotlight for at least a little bit. If you made it here, thank you for watching. If you're interested, please think about subscribing and liking the video, it helps me out. I will be releasing alpha content and beta content in the future, covering Dragonflight. I also stream on twitch.tv slash bighero60 if you are interested in catching my testing live. As always, I hope you all have a good day and stay safe. Thank you so much.